welcome to a brand new podcast, and this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. You can shop online to our baby shop from all, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. That's our online shopping mall where we have a whole wide range of different products. That's men's, kids, ladies' clothes, digital uh, posters. I was going to say digital artwork, but not, no, we don't have that on that site. Uh, perfume, cologne, jewelry, and much, much more. So check out www.evolutionoflondon.com. Also check out evolution, www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we you find custom clothes, accessories, and digital products for business as well as personal use. So that's www.evolutionoflondon.org. And finally, www.evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E, there there you'll find soaps, lotions, DVDs, and much, much more in terms of clothes. So check out www.evolutionoflondon.store. So if you want to put your business on this platform, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. We have uh, definitely, if you email us, someone definitely will get back to you if you want to put your business on this platform and that's the same email if you want to make a donation to the oracle 19 podcast so again that's evolution of london at gmail.com we have different links to other affiliates that's www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of london so Check that out. Different links to other affiliates. So support that platform as well. And www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. There you will find videos that's not posted on YouTube. Digital artwork and consulting services as well. So that's patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. And also, we on Rumble, 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 Rumble Rumble.com, and you just type in the Oracle 19, and definitely like, subscribe on our Rumble.com channel, Rumble.com forward slash the Oracle 19, or just go to the website and type in the Oracle 19. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. They they make homemade candles. 100% soy wax candles. 12 ounce jars. Scented and as well as unscented. Now the scented candles. Frankincense myrrh. Rose, jasmine, vanilla. Eucalyptus, just to name a few. So if you want to place your order... Just email them at royalty9international at gmail.com or go to their website, www.royalty9.com. And they're on social media, TikTok as well as Instagram, royalty9international. So definitely support their luxury candles, Royalty 9 International. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. So if you want to book a consultation, email him at healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. That's healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. And also support his merch, www.wjaaccessories.org. Again, that's www.wjaaccessories.org. WJAaccessories.org for their custom clothes, accessories, and digital products as well. DJ Panthro, he's been a fitness. Well, DJ Panthro, excuse me, he's been a international DJ, still is, and support his brand. He's one of the best DJs in Southwestern Ontario. So, if you want to book for him to come to your venue, 
you go and type in DJ Panthro 519 at gmail.com. Definitely get in touch with him through his email. Once again, that's DJ Panthro, P A N T H R O 519 at gmail.com. And also support him through social media, TikTok, as well as Instagram and YouTube. DJ Panthro 519. So he's on those platforms. So again, support, like, like, and subscribe throughout his social media. And once again, that's DJ Panthro five one nine. Music, cheap limousine channel on YouTube. We have a whole wide range of different beats. So definitely, if you want to support his brand, once you go to his. YouTube page, you will see his other social media sites, so like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. So definitely, you will definitely like his beats, a whole wide range of different beats. So Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube, and continue to train on YouTube, the Greatness 19 channel. That's our educational channel to open up your third eye, over 520 videos. So definitely like, subscribe, and share to the Greatness 19 channel and pass the information worldwide. And also, Mr. Evolution of London, that's our health and wellness channel. So definitely like, subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London on YouTube. Check out the company, The Finishing Group. The Finishing Group. Their telephone number is Erico 647 783 3430 and ask for Sam. Again, that's Erico 647 783 3430. And their email address to get in touch with them is stainingbricks at gmail.com. That's staining, S T A I N. I-N-G, Bricks, B-R-I-C-K-S, at gmail.com. And they can upgrade your house. They deal with kitchen cabinets, spray painting, kitchen cabinets, spray painting in general, refacing, uh, countertops, kitchen renovations, bathroom renovations, plastering, flooring, General painting, uh, internal as well as external. So definitely, definitely give them a call for your renovation needs. Again, that's the finishing group. I need you guys to check out the company Africans Supporting Africans Corp. They have professional teachers from all over the world. And their location is 2780 East Fowler Avenue. That's F-O-W-L-E-R Avenue, Suite 2023, uh, excuse me, Suite 2028. And that's in Tampa, Florida. Zip code is 33612 if you need to mail them. And they have, like I mentioned, professional teachers from all over the world, and they can teach you on a whole variety of different topics for to help you. And you, it's definitely worth it. They provide assistance for online tutoring. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And their email address is www.tutorsforyou.org. That's www.tutors, T-U-T-O-R-S, for you.org. Or also you can check out www.asa-corp, C-O-R-P, dot org. And you can email them at info at asa-corp, dot org. And again, it's an online tutoring service. So definitely you can check them out. Finally, that telephone number is 
3273 or their alternate number is area code 833-599-7272 and you can ask for Lamar Callahan so definitely something you should look into very good again you can't go wrong Now the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Spotify, uh, Spotify for podcasters, and Amazon Music, just to name a few. So there's a lot of different major platforms that the Oracle 19 is on. Anything that I haven't mentioned would be in the description box of the Oracle 19. The Greatness 19 channel on YouTube, as well as Mr. Evolution of London on YouTube. And Rumble.com, you just type in the Oracle 19, you'll find us there. You'll find the information description box on that platform. And finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. Alright, well today, as always, I give my perspective on different topics that I have to share I feel I need to share and today is the pandemic coming for you is the pandemic or I should say this will another pandemic come or is another pandemic coming? Guess that's... This is the top of my head, folks. Is another pandemic coming? Let me write that down. Is another pandemic coming? Or will another pandemic come? Well, you get what I mean. Because, again, I beat throughout checking out social media and whether it's propaganda or not but what do you think is this just propaganda or is this something that is geared up to scare the population or put the population in the in a certain bubble like before, allegedly, to change laws, uh, how about change the currencies, or help get you to concentrate on the pandemic instead of the debt crisis in America, and worldwide for that matter. The currency changes worldwide because, as you know, we're swinging into the, we are in the digital world. So, is this topic or information, or I would say propaganda about pandemic, the next pandemic, is this something that will happen? What say you? Because again, a lot of, you know, these is distractions. Now, if another pandemic hits, more vaccines we will have to take, more restrictions, possibly changing of currency officially. Meaning no more cash at all. Just more of a cashless society. And I'm speaking in the USA. But in different countries it's already already started. And I I noticed because this seemed like a similar script as with the previous pandemic. Started in China basically. And then it reached here. Now they're talking about this uh, disease X, which uh, the World Health Organization, 
who is talking about a pandemic or disease, I should say, that already is percolating. Yes, percolating in China right now. And you can just type in disease X, next pandemic, so forth, so on. And you find a lot of this information online about a a future outbreak. And we need to be prepared for this. And already certain things within the World Health Organizations, they're already talking about this now. You can easily go on YouTube and listen to the scientists within this organization talking about you know the possible pandemic and and nothing we can do and blah 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 but my question for me to you what are you going to do and how are you planning and if this occur and are you, and will you plan for it, basically? That's my question. I think for us citizens, we better pay attention. And it's not about, my, my personal opinion, propaganda, just like the first go-around. My personal opinion. And people have taken that vax, and there's a lot of cases. A lot of people is dying out, getting you know illnesses and heart attacks, and allegedly this all pertaining to the vaccine that people have taken. Now, you're going to get a lot of pushback back and forth. I'm not going to say particularly good, bad, up and down. But I just find it interesting. Now, again, there's information talk about another wave in the future. And all of this is... Do you think this is... All of this is occurring or will occur to try to distract you from the real things that is happening around you? What what do you think? It's just something to think about. But I would say be prepared. And I mentioned this on different shows about preparations. We have to start taking things a little, a lot more serious when government and scientists, world scientists, talk about these certain possible events. It's like setting you up. It's, it's a setup, in my personal opinion. And a setup which is not necessarily good for you. So, how, what are you doing to prepare? Because with the crisis of the USA, with the debt ceiling, and of course, of course they they're going to sign off for another protection of the currency. I leave it as that. All of these little distractions, but the inevitable will happen. The inevitable will happen. The inevitable meaning that the United States will fall. It's talked about, this is not something new to you, I hope. You see it all over the news, all from the internet to the world news. It's just the inevitable. Matter of fact, it's here. But 
again, they have to give you this story where it's still keep hope alive. And what I mean by this is the final crash of the dollar and the collapse of the dollar. And eventually the dollar is going to be worthless. You see, countries is already... And I talked about this before. Countries already is phasing away from the U.S. dollar. You know, I'm sure you heard of BRICS. If not, that's that's a united front of countries handling their own business away from the U.S. way, I will say. BRICS is... Stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Bricks. It sounds like I'm saying brick with a K. B R I C S. Again, Brazil. Russia, India, China, South Africa, those countries, and much and more countries that is tagging along will be tagging along to those five main countries forming their own conglomerate, corporation conglomerate. So, much more countries throughout the world is is piggybacking with those countries. Mind you, China and Russia are still superpowers. So it is what it is. And so with all the, the merging of other countries, the US dollar getting weaker, what better way to spark a pandemic, right? So what do you think? This disease X that the World Health Organization is talking about. And when? You hear rumors basically in the next year or two that it could possibly cross over to North America. Then what? Shutdowns like it was before? We already have built where businesses, we do online businesses. So the pivot off of that won't be an issue. Everything is basically online nowadays. So what should, what would be more closing down of countries? If you don't take the jab three, four, five times and show proof of that, you will you can't move around. Is this what it's going to be again? Or probably they will escalate to everyone being chipped. So to protect the health of all citizens, is this what it's going to be? Yeah, so what's next? Officially shutting down the, the U.S. cash and making everything digital? So obviously when money is now, everything is digital, you could definitely be tracked down when, what time you bought a product or item, when, how, what location. So you could be tracked down in sequence orders from, from when you left your house. They could tell what time you left your house and when you came back based on your, your spending habits. And then they could see you with the big brother cameras 
all over the cities and towns near you so they can track your spending habits on that particular day, what time, in a sequential order, and then they can see you through the city cameras. And then, of course, when you get home, they can see and hear you from your electronics, your smart electronics that you have in your house. Your smart TV, your smart phone, your laptop, your smart refrigerator if you have, or your smart oven, or your smart speakers, or maybe your smart clothes, electronic clothes that you, that is chipped. So you have those nice name brand jeans that glow in the dark. You just tap it on the side and you see the glow. You ha- tap your, your name brand t-shirt and it sparkles. So you might have smart t-shirts and smart pants. I know I might be over the top with a lot of things, but... There are technologies out here where the clothes are chipped. So once you arrive home after being monitored with by your spending habits, and once you are seen by your cameras or your smart car or SUV, then you arrive home and you are seen and heard in your bedroom. TV is your camera and your phone is your microphone. So all your moves is being heard all the way to the smart toilet that you have. So, do you have privacy? And all of this while you're going through your next pandemic. Yay. So, what do you think? What do you, what do you think... Is this realistic? Can this ever happen? Meaning a next pandemic. Or will it happen? And therefore, what are you going to do? Or you probably say, well, what can I do? Well, I don't. First thing, a lot of you will say, well, I don't know what what I'm going to do. You know, I got to work every day still. I got these bills I got to pay. So you're going to just say, well, I I don't know. Because that's most of us go-to statement. I don't know. And I mentioned this before. Here's one way what you can do is learn to survive. Learn to survive. That's something that we all capable of doing. Our godly instincts is learn to survive. We all have the power to survival. Learn we know how to survive under pressure. We put our minds to it. Now people will say, Mr. Great, Mr. Greatness, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean. Well, part of your survival, think about your ancestors before you. How did they survive? You have to take it back to the basics. The basics meaning that you cannot possibly depend and rely and should not rely on 
the worldly gifts that you have, meaning cell phones, TV, because you fed with all of this propaganda through the tell lie vision. Tell lie vision is feeding you all of this propaganda, even social media to a certain degree because you have a lot of falsehood but then you have a lot of truths out there learning to survive going, getting back to the basics because let's say for example just think you seen you witnessed the lockdown and long lines getting food things like that you witnessed that you had to cover your face like you was a Orthodox Muslim with this mask and I'm being a little facetious here but I'm not disrespecting trying to disrespect the Muslim community I'm just just making a point you have to plan see while right now while is a grace period I call it Grace period where it's talked about. This is a time where you can do the basics. The basics. Whether you have a house or apartment, so forth. Position yourself better. Stocking up on water. You know, if you have a big enough place, you have to deal with, number one, the region where you reside, where you reside, if it's house, apartment. You got to look at where you stand right now and what you can have in your household, where you can stock up. But stock up, though. And you you can do it casually. When you go food shopping, get a bag of, get, you know, can't, you know, get some extra canned goods and store it. Get extra water bottles and store it. You, we don't... Let's say, for example, you're working off a $50 budget. I know, times is tough. Well, spend the $5 or even, worst case scenario, spend $2 and get yourself a, two water bottles at least. Or get if you get the, the big packs for, let's say, $8. Make it... Your duty out of maybe once every two weeks just to stock on something. I know times is tough. I get it. But you are capable of buying a couple of items per week. Canned goods, water. Put it on the, put it on the side. It's, that is not going to tax you financially. You can buy extra alcohol. You know, remember during the pandemic, it was hard at one point to get alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I hope you remember that. It was so hard to get that. And I don't know, and maybe I know in my region, but I, I just, I heard pretty much everywhere it was hard to get at one point alcohol and other things, toilet tissue, paper towel. And they would allow one pack per customer in certain locations. You know, it's foolishness like that. Check out companies, corporations that makes toilet tissue or alcohol, rubbing alcohol so you can contact them and get it in bulk, whatever the case may be. Position yourself. That's all I'm saying. Position yourself. It's not about going shopping and getting a whole bunch of clothes and and being fashionable. That's not going to help you in your survival. Getting the newest Jordans is not going to help you in survival. It's fashionable, yes, but it's not going to help you towards your survival. If a next pandemic comes. See these things you need to. 
plan out. And have first aid. Stock up, check to see if you have hydroperoxide, baking soda. Baking soda is very basic. You know, baking soda and, and vinegar can do wonders for your laundry. And it's, you can use that for a lot of different things. Mouthwash. Cleaning, cleaning your, your carpets. Sanitizing your dishes. Baking soda, vinegar combined. It does wonders for your house and it's natural. But if you have those essentials as part of your survival, always have a, a, a big supply of baking soda and, and vinegar, white vinegar and brown vinegar. These is part of your essentials. You, you have to have those things. And if you have a, a house where you have a, some, some land space, even if you have a thousand square foot, you know, in your backyard, which is a thousand square foot is not really a large backyard, but utilize what you have. What you can do is you can grow things. You can grow peppermint, spearmint plants. Gr grow cucumbers, tomatoes. Work within the region that you, where you reside. Work with what you, you can do. But this is part of survival. Because especially first aid, because you might... In some regions, you they they made it walk-in clinics. You just couldn't walk in. You have to call by appointment, and you could be sick as a dog, but you have to call it in. And if the lines is busy, then you got you might have to wait it out for weeks before you can get service to see a doctor at a walk-in clinic. And then the clinics tell you, well, you go to the emergency if, you're, if your illness is severe. And we know how long emergency takes. And if you're dealing with a, a next pandemic, it's going to be quadruple the time for you to be served. If you got to walk into a merge, meaning emergency. So... What are you going to do? Let's say if you have food poisoning and you can't go to a walk-in clinic, clinic and we're in the pandemic. Well, guess what? Basic salt, table salt, because it has iodine. Iodine is used is a, is a, a reliever when you take a little pinch of salt and, and eat it, it can help relieve that issue. Now, I don't, I'm not a doctor, and I'm not saying to a certain degree, if your food poisoning is severe, you might have to merge, you might have to go pronto to the doctors. But if your stomach, if you might have a small case of food poisoning, not a severe but a small minor case the salt that you eat, a little pinch of salt that you eat because of the iodine, it helps relieve that issue because it, it basically absorbs the poison check that out double check if you see if you think I'm wrong because Mr. Greatness is not always right So these things is part of your survival. 
So first aid is very essential. And you have to be your own hospital to protect you and yours. So what that means, you need, you should have access to some type of medical books where you can, physical books, like there's a book called Back to Eden. You can get at certain health stores or order it from Amazon, Back to Eden, which you will find different plants that will help you heal you. You might not have time to get to the hospital, or I should say you might have to wait a long period of time to get to the hospital. Let's say because your sugar is high. And this teas, wormwood, wormwood, W-O-O-M, wood, W-O-O-D, wormwood tea. And you go to Mr. Evolution of London, that the channel that in this talked about. I talk about that. Mr. Evolution of London channel on YouTube. I talk about Wormwood Tea. I show you a video explaining about that, the benefits of it. And that can help lower your sugar. They're old school, been passed down many generations in my family. So that's just one of many other plants that can help Lower your sugar. Help you to survive. If there's a next pandemic. And you shouldn't even have to wait till a next pandemic hit. You have these products to, to protect you. So. That's what I mean by survival. Having products to protect your overall health while the pandemic is all around you you covered you safe you and yours you able to heal yourself to take your care to take care of yourself and ride the wave and also on a financial level which is number 1 in our lives uh, well it's at par with our health is multiple options. This is the time where we need to, while things haven't really, really hit us yet within society, is the multiple options. I talk about all the time. Using the God-given skills that you have. Now, a lot of people say, well, I don't have nothing. I don't know nothing. You know, well, the thing about it, you got to start looking inside yourself to see the actual God-given skills, whether you can do hair, whether you can fix things, whether you can consult, you're a great talker, whatever the case, turn that into money. We all have certain skill sets. And in this digital world that we live in, believe me, little stuff that we are capable of doing, we can turn that into money. I see it in real time to this day with even myself I'm no different from you I'm out here in these streets trying to get it so you can do the same thing start planning because your job that you work at now is not guaranteed we know this this is not this is not, this is common knowledge. We both know that and we understand that. So what that means is you got to put things into action. While things is at level now, start planning out to have different options, working at different, work at different, uh, well, work for self, I should say. Have, so you have the options when, if things do hit the fan, 
you able you able to pivot to work for yourself. And you have multiple options where you have multiple streams streams of income which you can survive off of in this digital world. You might can't get paid with cash. They might have to wire you the money. But guess what? If you have multiple options, you can ride the wave. And this is, it's essential. It's actually mandatory. I, I cannot stress that. It is mandatory for you to have multiple options. Don't just sit back and just sit and wait and hope for that one job to keep paying you. You, if you're a writer, just if you're a good writer, you know, you can help tutor, write for people. You, you can, you could turn that into many things. Writing books, whatever. This, I'm eventually, you, I'm, I'm gonna one day just come out with, with that a book soon, soon about different ways. But. You'll see. I keep you posted. But the point being is, it's not like what I'm saying is brand new. So don't think you know I'm not. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I'm just stating something that's always been said. I'm just adding on. Just have the options because you don't know what's coming in about a year, two years from now. And but they they telling you something. They, meaning the world scientists, government, so forth, they putting certain things out there and letting you know. Prepare yourself. Because we might shut this whole thing down and start again, and a lot of you is going to suffer. They don't, it's not about, you think government cares about you? I'm just saying. With everything being allegedly poison, water, air, sound waves, 5G, everything. You think you think powers that be really care about you? Or are or are they trying to eliminate you? I'm this is just a question. What do you think? So if your answer is what I think it is, majority of you, then you know the importance of survival. And it's not that you need a whole bunch of money. You just need a whole bunch of proper planning. Because it don't take a whole bunch of money, but it takes a whole bunch of proper planning. What do I mean? As I stated before about the basics, buying little things now, having the first aid kit. You you can hit the dollar store and gather up canned goods. You know, you can hit up you can hit up the dollar stores and get rubbing alcohol, anti uh, bacterial soaps, things like that. Tooth toothpaste, even though you can use baking soda and. and uh, you know, baking sodas you can get at the dollar store as well, and and brown vinegar as well, white vinegar, things like that, which is cheap price. You can stock up on those things, and that could be used for emergency as far as mouthwash. This is why I'm talking about survival. I'm into the health and, and wellness of y'all guys because in order to ride this wave. You're going to need that. And of course, in your house, everybody should have some type of protection. I put it like that. For any outside interference. And in your house, you should have multiple places for protection. From outside interference. And it's not always what you think I'm thinking. 
You thinking that I'm thinking it's just one thing, right? In multiple places, right? No. You can have multiple things, multiple protection situations scattered throughout your household. So, you should have a little protection throughout your house in every room. Because you might can't reach one room. A person might, an outsider might come in one room and you might have to go in another room and have your protection. So, every household, every location, every room in your house is supposed to be a hidden protection package for your survival that should also be implemented in your house now while things is good while things is comfortable because you never 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 know so these is the basics that you can have to survive I gave you some one having your protection package first aid storing food me- medicines natural medicines like plants and stuff and herbs where you can use to survive information books like back to Eden and there's other books that you physically should have in the house because guess what? Let's say the internet goes down. You can't go on Google it. Because let's say it's not working for you. So you can't Google it necessarily. So you need a physical uh, physical book that you can look at. Everybody should have a, a physical book. Not just necessarily rely on getting on the internet. Because if you can't get on the internet, then you screwed. So you should have physical copies, physical things that you can read. And then also position yourself to have multiple options so you can survive financially. So these are certain things that you can have set up for yourself. So it's much, much more. So in the conclusion... Is another pandemic coming? It's a strong possibility. So how are you going to protect yourself? What are you doing to implement things? How would you survive? What actions are you taking? Are you scared? Are you happy? Are you fearful? Do you care? What say you? Support this channel. Go to the Greatness 19 channel and subscribe to my Greatness 19 channel and also subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London and throughout social media platforms like the Oracle 19 podcast. Definitely like that. Like, subscribe, and pass information worldwide because we got to get it to grow because... Information like this is not going to be put out there because it's not frivolous talk. It's about it's not about who ki- who who's kissing who who's having affairs. It's information that makes sense. So it's in the algorithms of YouTube. It's not going to be promoted. Only you can promote it. The stuff is going to be triggering. People not going to like it, and. If you listen to a lot of the content, but if it does make sense to you and logical, support. Least like, subscribe. Donations is definitely great because it's a lot of work to this. So until we meet again, stay strong in these streets. Thank you for listening. Thank you.